Hi, welcome to a new week. Today we're focusing on the first ascent of K6 West by Ian Wellstead and Raphael Slowinski. In July 2013, the two Canadian alpinists completed the first ascent of the northwest face of K6 West in Pakistan, one of the largest unclimbed objectives in the alpine world. They almost didn't make it to the foot of the climb, however, as it was at this time that a group of terrorists attacked the base camp of Nanga Parbat nearby, killing 10 climbers and a local guide. So let's talk about the Pakistan and the route. So just before you went, there was the, the massacre in Nanga Parbat while, while you were traveling. So you guys carried on. Tell us about that. That's right, yeah. We'd been in Islamabad for maybe four days. We just started driving to the mountains, to Skardu, which would have taken us on the KKH, the Korokoram Highway, right past. Nanga Parbat, we're about two hours into the drive when our liaison officer got word through kind of this unofficial network of other officers about what had happened and we stopped for milk tea because this is Pakistan so everything goes with milk tea. Waiting, waiting to, I don't know, hear if it's reasonable or safe to proceed. Gunmen in Pakistan killed nine tourists early Sunday morning. It happened in a remote area in northern Pakistan. So far, the, the main concern was for the people at home. Mm -hmm. And so Raphael, for example, is married, so obviously he's concerned about his wife. And Jesse Huey, who was with us, returned to the United States, not because he so much was worried as you spending two months in a place while your parents and family and yeah. loved ones are worried about you. Maybe it's, you know, you, you go on these trips to have a good time. Yeah. But I, I compare it to a big city. I mean, just like in a big city, so I lived in Chicago for a few years, there are areas of Chicago you just don't go into. And Pakistan's like that. It's not a homogeneous country. It's hugely differentiated. So for example, the north, you have the area in Nanga Parbat and towards Afghanistan that's kind of a no-go zone even for the Pakistani military. <laughs> and then there are other areas which are completely safe and totally friendly. So when you got there, did you, you have a, a fixed objective? Did you know you wanted to do K6 West? K6 West was the obvious thing to do in the valley. It's kind of from base camp, it's their front and center. You just cannot ignore it. And it had been thought about a bunch, maybe not tried quite as much but it was kind of the obvious thing left to do in the valley. So for sure, that was uppermost in our minds. For myself, I know about it, but Ian, I still reserve my judgment because I thought the approach, especially to the climb, looked quite, potentially quite dangerous. And so I wanted to kind of see it for myself from close up before I committed to actually going up it. That's a large backpack, Raphael. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I'm, aware, I'm aware of it every second. So how was, how was the route? Tell us about the route. Most of it was a, a, a strip of obvious ice that reached up through um, a, a few rock bands and then it came to a stop at a rock band that ended up to be three pitches um, of quite technical climbing. Raphael led all three crux pitches um, in the morning on the second day on the face. The first pitch was under vertical but bad pro and bad rock quality. Second one involved a squeeze chimney um, with very blank rock and a pillow of snow, so a, a mushroom of snow, so no, nothing very secure. And then the third pitch was slightly overhanging, dribbles of ice on shattered granite that uh, was quite impressive to belay. Climbing, climbing is a very slow sport, but uh, so it doesn't tend to have a lot of flow, but it was one of those times when it actually I felt like I kind of got into the flow and into the zone and, and I was just I was truly in the moment. I mean, it sounds like a cliche, but I, I, I really was. I even, I think it took us some like six hours to climb those three pitches. We're, we're not Uli Stack. And I, for those six hours, I even, I forgot to take my camera. I was not even thinking about taking pictures. I was just thinking about the climbing. Let's get us off this face. Yeah. We're heading to the sun over there. The sunny Southwest Ridge. I think we're both pretty happy that this looks like the last pitch on this face, and then I'll be walking. 
So you're keen to go back to the, the characters are the lines left that would draw you back there? Well, if we hadn't climbed that line, we were looking at it. It's incredible that it hasn't been climbed. Um, there's an unclimbed line on K7 West um, that's just obviously waiting to be climbed. I think people, I've been asked by two, by Simon Adamanthon and Ely Steck, whether the actual north face of K6 is climbable. That's a sort of uh, Janu north face style wall. Um, whether or not there's a safe line on that. I don't think I would think I was able to climb that, but maybe in the future someone will climb that. Approaching the summit of K6 West. How close I get will depend on my tolerance of collapse and cornices. Ian's giving me the Deadman belay down below. Pretty f psyched. Thanks to filmmaker Wiktor Skupinski for the footage and to Ian and Raphael for the interview. To watch the full film, go to vimeo.com and search for K6 West. That's it from us today. We'll see you tomorrow.